Welcome back. I'm Alfred Lambert Weber, and it's a great pleasure to be here on behalf of c60evo.com ESS60. And once again, we're together with Chris Burris, Patty Greer, and joining us is Thomas uh, Keogh. And Patty, I'm going to ask you really uh, to uh, host us here because you know everyone here more in depth, more than I do. So over to you, Patty. Thank you. Yes, these are all the players that I know right here. Um, Chris is my partner at C60 Evo. He runs the lab with his other partner, Robert Wong, and they've been making carbon 60 fullerenes, fantastic C60. ESS 60 for the last 29 years with great integrity. So when I was looking for an investment and I knew I wanted to be in the C60 industry, no contest. <laughs> and I didn't even have to beg. They flew me down and said, let's do this. So the chemistry has been perfect since the start. And we've had this one constant testimonial guy that just keeps making comments on things. And he's so happy with the product and it's Thomas who is, um, I didn't know until today, has a far better life than I do, or <laughs> maybe most of us, because in the winter, he teaches skiing and snowboarding. In the summer, he teaches paragliding. And if you can uh, take a look at left of him, or on his right, uh, would be a bunch of wings. So he is not faking the funk. And he also mentioned that in Denver, he pulls a taxi with a bicycle. So this is not your slouch kind of guy. Uh, I hope someday when I grow up, I have the energy to do half the things that you're doing. Um, but I, I'm delighted that you love the product so much. And even today when I invited him on the show, his response was, you know, at a time like this, when everybody's going through this COVID mentality, and you know, he said, I feel like I've had an opportunity to really think about my life. And I feel 20 years younger. So it's really fun to think about it. And again, the last time we brought on a testimonial person, it was last month, Regan, Regan T. And she was also talking about the mental aspects of taking ESS 60, which is the purest form of carbon 60 molecule. Uh, and it's manu manufactured to be safe for human consumption but also to be the highest concentration on the market. So I know that when I was doing other products and I shifted to the straight stuff coming from Chris's lab and then picked a, um, an olive oil that I love the taste of, we had a product that was like, it felt like speed. You know, after being on other C60 products, it was like, whoop, you know, like a really fast train. So I love it. Uh, I'm not looking to do anything else in my life for healing because this stuff works. Well, actually I do a lot of things for healing, um, but I want to introduce Thomas because he has um, a really busy active life and it appears that our product would be something that either he would notice or not notice with the energy he expounds every day. And he just got back from taking somebody up in the air in a paraglider. So Thomas, tell us how you're doing and what you're feeling about C60 Evo. Well, uh, I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm loving the product. Um, the, uh, it's, it's really just, just amazing the way it has uh, affected me. I was telling Alfred uh, before we all came on together that um, I just went through this move recently. I was you know, told I needed to find a new place. My uh, landlord decided to sell the house, and I had to find a new place, and um, you know, one of the things that really struck me about how the how feeling the C60 uh, is that in the course of moving, um, I really never missed a beat with work. I'd, you know, move stuff during the day and then go work every night on the bike taxi and do some paragliding flights in the morning when they came up. Um, but I really never missed a beat at all with work. And during this uh, same time, you know, it's only been two months, you know, that I've been using this piece of XP, and it's just had such a dramatic effect on me, you know, I've been talking about it. Um, 
But one thing that I really noticed during the move, you know, not only did I not miss a beat as far as, you know, working and keeping up with everything, uh, you know, I felt pretty stable during the whole thing as well and just, you know, just doing what I could all the time. But, you know, one thing you always, in, in any kind of move or, or traveling, um, your, uh, your food intake, you know, it, it all gets disrupted, you know, your what you're used to eating and how you're used to preparing it and all that kind of stuff all gets disrupted. And I just realized, you know, a little bit ago, I haven't had vitamins since I moved in and I used to make smoothies every day with just, you know, at least 20 different considered superfoods, you know, turmeric and black pepper and olive oil and um, black seed oil and, you know, um, spirulina and chlorella and just, you know, 20 different of, of all the greatest food products you can get. And, um, and I'd, I'd have that daily and I haven't had one, you know, since the beginning of the month in the last 20 days. And whenever I went for a week without it recently, um, you know, up to two months ago when I started on the C60, I really noticed it. I felt like I've started to drag, you know, about a week later after I hadn't gotten my smoothie. And right now I'm three weeks without, and I, I'm not even missing it, and I'm working every day. And, uh, you know, that was another thing. I, I stopped taking days off. And I can't say that that's solely because of the C60. It changed my schedule because of the COVID. You know, um, with the bars downtown now closing or taking last call at 10 p.m. instead of 2 a.m., you know, um, I'm not working as long at nights because people just aren't even out on the street, you know, past 11. Um, but, um, so, I'm, so I'm, instead of trying to, you know, work eight or nine hour days, like I used to and work five days a week, I'm trying to work six, seven hour days and, you know, work as many days as weather permits. And so I basically stopped taking days off at all during this whole same time when I was moving and, and not getting my usual nutrition, and <laughs> somehow it's all just coming together just fine, and I'm not missing a beat. Uh, and I think that's the C60. That's awesome. That's a great yeah. testimonial because mainly your mega drink is no longer necessary because you're taking a mega spoonful. Are you doing a teaspoon or a tablespoon? Um, I've been doing the half tablespoon a day. Okay. And a so table slightly bigger than a teaspoon. Right. For some reason, I used to think it was two to one. I didn't know it was three teaspoons. Yeah. As a teaspoon, so now we know. Thank the British. They're, they're the ones who like to do threes and ones and, <laughs> and odd numbers. Pounds. It's like, why don't you just say dollars? It's all good. <laughs> well, um, we're really glad it's working for you. And um, I love it because I see you just pop on constantly saying nice things whenever we throw up a new show um, and that we appreciate because how are we going to get the word out you know and there are a lot of c60 companies now on the market that are buying the raw materials buying a, a case of oil at costco and mixing it in their basement so you know there are a lot of um should we say lesser brands on the market for basically the same price but um, when you can buy direct from a real lab, in my opinion, that's where I'm going to be spending my money and my time to um, be wanting to be taking products from um, a place where it's being done right. So did you try any other products before C60 Evo for C60? No. No. It was when I read about the, I've been kind of just slacking, you know, it's just, seems as though it might be a fairly expensive product. Right now, I don't think so at all for what you get. Uh, but, um, you know, at, at first, you know, when I looked at the prices, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I'll get you whenever, you know, I saw the ads for all the purple powder and stuff. But, um, no, it was, it was really when I saw the studies that you guys had done come out and, you know, showed that those other brands really weren't up to par. And if I was going to get it, this is definitely the one I wanted to get. Um, that was when I said, okay, well, I know this is going to be a really, really reputable brand. I'm going to give this a try. 
Well, then I gave it a try. And <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked your socks off. <laughs> Knock my socks off. I've got a I've got a question. So so you're so active, um, and and seem very aware. Like, have you noticed anything with soreness? I'm sure, like some days, you're you know maybe doing more paragliding than normal, and and you would normally be sore. Have you noticed anything related to soreness, like muscle soreness or joint soreness? Yeah, absolutely. I'm really glad you asked. Um, this was a, a story, you know, I, I think I told Patty a, a week ago or so when, when she first approached me about doing the interview, was that I had just done, um, I had a day we booked four paragliding flights in one day per pilot. Yeah. And um, so it was just really busy one after the next. And the, the hard part of the flying isn't the flying itself. It's, it's hiking up the hill with 65-pound pack on your back. Yep. Uh, to then fly off it. And um, doing that in midsummer, midday heat is really Ouch. brutal. And I used to just get so exhausted, um, you know, even, even last year on days where we do two flights. Uh, you know, by the time I'd done two flights, I really, really noticed that it was really hard to trudge up the hill. Um, and especially because my legs were already sore from all the biking that I've been, you know, that, that cross training really just pumps up your muscles. Energy. Yeah. And, um, so, so I used to really, really feel it. And I couldn't believe it a week ago on the, the day we had four of them booked. I was like, okay, well, somehow I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to get through it. Uh, but you know, the only thing I'm doing different now is and then is the C60 and, I could just power up the hill for all four flights. We actually had planned a fifth one. And um, I didn't feel it afterward either. In fact, I went in and uh, did some biking that night. I uh, figured uh, I could still go to my other job. But it, once, once I was, you know, into the other job and into the night a little bit, uh, I did get, you know, pretty tired. But yeah. um, <laughs> I, I think I was kind of on a little bit of an adrenaline high maybe after all that flying. Um, but yeah, it, it was unbelievable to me how I got through it all. And I didn't have the muscle fatigue that I have previously had. That's great. That's like double the production, double the capabilities. Like, wow. That, I mean, you could, you said last year it was two or a problem and this year you're like four wasn't a problem. That's, that's impressive. That's exciting to hear. Um, and then have you noticed anything with your sleep? Like any, any changes and, you know, the, it, sleep is so interesting, but let me, let me have you answer it. And then I can kind of talk about some of the testimonials we have related to sleep. Um, yeah, I have, I, I, I haven't noticed so much. Um, I could say, you know, similar to the testimonials that I've heard, I do feel more rested even when I didn't necessarily get it enough sleep. Mm, yep. um, we get that I a lot. I have that more rested feeling, you know, like I just feel solid as if I did have a good great night's sleep. But I've also noticed that at times, you know, I'm typically waking up at the same time that I always did, but often I feel relaxed enough to go back to bed and sleep a couple more hours after I get up and do a couple of things, which Typically, I didn't used to really do, and, and now I just feel really comfortable. Like, ah, oh, you know, maybe I'll just take that with me. So, so there isn't the kind of stress, whatever. You're you're not ruminating. You don't have this stress that's saying, "Hey, I might, I would like to go to sleep, but I can't." You're actually released that stress, and you're like, "I'd like to go to sleep, and I'm going to." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can say that. That's cool, yeah, because that's, you know, reduced stress is something that we get regularly. And, and we can tie that all back to the sleep. If you're sleeping better, right, sleep is good for your mental, physical, emotional, and I would argue spiritual well-being. And so if you're getting deeper sleep, maybe not longer sleep, then your ability to handle stress and process stress is significantly enhanced. And, and I think it's actually one of the, the challenges with this time of COVID everybody's on edge because everybody's not sleeping well. Like there's a lot of stress and that stress is causing a lack of sleep and, and then kind of it's building on itself and 
it's actually, I, I call it like this horrible emotional sleep spiral where your emotions and rumination are keeping you up. So you've gotten less sleep and then you wake up the next day and we're actually less able to process emotions when we don't get sleep. And so now it just keeps getting worse and worse. And, and our just most consistent testimonial is people take it in the morning, they report mental focus and energy during the day. And you haven't talked about mental focus, maybe that, that'd be interesting to know if you had any notices there. Uh, but then they report better sleep that night. And you know, again, better sleep helps your mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Have, have you noticed anything kind of mentally uh, acuity or anything, like remembering words more or less or anything along those lines? Um. Not, not so much. Yeah. Uh, you know, I do feel very, uh, you know, like I'm saying, I, everything just feels like it's flowing and going well. So, uh, I, I think that's yeah, kind of, kind of my perspective right there is that, yeah, in, in so much of a way as that. That's, Alfred, that's very cool. Are you sleeping more, Alfred? Are you noticing a change in your sleep patterns? Well, um, uh, I find two things. Number one, that I sleep and I rest a lot. I mean, I just sort of rest. And uh, it, it's, it's two things, both that I sleep and rest a lot. And when I don't have time to rest a lot, I'm fine. <laughs> mm. I don't know if I if that expresses it well. Um, we, we have, uh, three little infants in our family and two of the infants are cats and one of the infant is a dog. <laughs> I don't know if you all can relate, but That's a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. And, and these are little ones. The dog is a papillon and, and they're infants, but the dog is actually very old. So the dog likes to wake up at 5.30 a.m. and needs to be let out to go out and do his business, right, at 5.30. And I'm responsible for the dog. His name is Seven. I'm responsible for, for Seven. So I have to get up at 5.30 a.m. to take out Seven. And 5.30 a.m. is not my normal time. Uh, to get up <laughs> and and so uh but i can get up and i just kind of go out and take seven out da, 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 and come back and then ease back in but i think i would identify also with, with what thomas is saying uh that right now there's so much with the general stress of the pandemic, uh, uh, plus everything, that this is like uh, the long distance marathon. You know, we're we're running the long distance marathon. Like like my typical days, uh, I may have in the morning. Like let's take let's take yesterday. Uh, Yesterday morning, I had a a live press conference uh, uh, with uh, one of the parties in Toronto, and then uh, another party in Winnipeg, Man Manitoba, and these were th with Native elders, and this is announcing uh, with a a group that is ho holding demonstrations uh, uh, nationwide leading up to uh, a massive demonstration. They're hoping 100,000 people in Ottawa on August 29th. Today's Thursday, August 20th. So I get up at 5.30 and I take seven to his business and then I come back and then I have to manage the press conference and I do that. And then uh, I go and 
do that. And then I get up again and uh, I have a, a two hour uh, interview uh, with an extraordinary contactee in Uruguay who has made contact with interdimensional extraterrestrials that are creating portals in the walls of his of his house that, that can do that but they're malevolent and they're dragging people they're doing uh abductions not up into their ufos but through interdimensional portals and then they're creating clones that are coming out and walking out it's a new development uh and you know so i i have a very very active and multi-dimensional and multitasking world. And I'm telling you that along with that, I'm then running a simple plan for citizen justice in which I'm aiding a number of groups that includes uh, King John of England, who's the person who's now claiming that he's claiming the throne from Queen Elizabeth uh, to bring uh, lawsuits uh, uh, that this whole pandemic is a war crime under the International Criminal Code. So I lead a very, very active life. And in a year and a half, I'm going to be 80 years old. Now, do I look like an 80-year-old man to you? Wow. No. Uh -oh. That's what I thought. And that's what I told my wife. I said, you know something? I don't look like an 80 year old man. And I really think that C60 has a part in this. What do you think? <laughs> I've watched you change uh, because you and I have been doing shows for 10 years. And you and I have both tried different C60 products before we upgraded to ESS60. So, you know, now that we're both doing the olive oil even, which um, we do recommend it on our website, that people choose the olive oil. We do sell the MCT coconut and the avocado, but the olive oil holds almost twice as much C60 concentration. So I don't mess around. If you're gonna do it, do it hardcore. And uh, you know, we have three oils, like I said, because people have different tastes, but the olive oil, highly recommended. And a spoonful in the morning is all you need. Alfred, I really have seen change in you. And if you're a year and a half from 80, um, that's extremely impressive. But I've seen such improvement in your looks, in your speech, because we, we've both been through some pretty heavy stuff with the, shall we say, infiltrated UFO field. We've been dosed with our share of um, uh, energetic and <clears throat> physical difficulties. Both of us went through a big one. So the ESS 60, I'm really grateful because mentally, I'm not sitting around hating on my past or being upset about things that I've gone through, which used to circle a lot more than they do now. And now, um, but I'm also in my 60s. So I've learned to discipline my thoughts more than ever before because my thoughts were pretty wanky when I was, um, shall we say, going through the strange things that I've been through and then being sued for a million dollars for something that really wasn't my deal. So I've had to really find a way to balance and stay graceful um, to be even in the world at all. And last Saturday, uh, actually two weeks ago, I pulled one of my um, cards, a girl, a lady friend, so that I've known since I was six, gave me these beautiful cards. And I'm not one of the woo-woos that pulls a card every day, but now I am. So <laughs> I pulled a card that said, um, reach out. Reach out and be a part of the community. It didn't say those words, it was far more graceful, but that's what I heard. And I kind of shifted something in my thinking because I can turn the screws. And I got invited to so many things in the last few weeks. Um, with eight or less people, of course. And um, so now I'm starting to meet people, but when I go out, and I've avoided it because I was pretty well known for what I went through. And I live in the area where, you know, there's a lot of strange people still here. 
And sure enough, I got to the party and I was immediately um, introduced to somebody and she just cornered me and she said, you're my hero. How are you doing this? How did you live through this? Because she had followed the story of what I've been through. And um, I just looked at her and I wanted to hold up my bottle. But I swear, I feel the same as you, Alfred. Um, is that the, the formulation really changes your blood brain barrier uh, combination of how emotionally we choose to be affected now. It's nice that I can use the word choose rather than I was affected, I got so moody. Now it's like, hmm, hmm. You know, when people say horrible things, I just go, hmm. But people don't say horrible things. The only thing I see that's horrible is on my Facebook wall. And that's so easy. Da -da 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 -da. Block. That's over. So we have to learn to do blocking in life so that we can simplify things. But I think that this reset, this great awakening worldwide reset is giving all of us an opportunity to either move into the best version of ourselves or to sit around and whine about, I can't go here, I can't go there. I don't miss shopping. It's like all of a sudden I realize I have enough clothing and stuff and things probably to last me a very long time, but I was in the habit like everyone else of over shopping and over trashing. So there are some actually interesting benefits to all of us being, shall we say, locked in our little house cages. And it's a time to say, do I love my house? Do I love where I live in myself, in my heart, in my mind? And I think the C60 Evo is one of those really beautiful healing remedies that makes everything kind of okay or helps me personally to focus to figure out how to make it okay. I feel smarter than I've ever been because my brain isn't all over the place. So I think all four of us are noticing that, yeah? Yeah, I could say another thing. Um in relation to Chris's last question, you know, about how it's affected me, uh, you know, mentally, do I feel like the sense, you know, an acuity thing? Um, and I just thought of it, you know, that um, I used to really, really prepare uh, before I'd go out on the bike taxi every night, you know, I'd make sure that I ate well and, you know, that I had food packed away. Just everything was perfect before I'd go out. And then, you know, I felt like, okay, you know, everything should be good from here because I really planned well. And I don't know, maybe it goes along a little bit with just the fact that I'm going in every day. Maybe I'm getting a little sloppy. But it doesn't feel that way at all. Like, I feel like I just feel more confident and I don't feel like I need to prepare as much. I've just been kind of like letting it go and, and not worrying about it and like, I know I can make whatever work happens along the way. I'm just not worried. Well, and and I, th I think that goes to anxiety, right? Like it's the anxiety that kind of forces you to go that extra step to make sure everything's totally prepared, which by the way, Absolutely. is really, really good in paragliding. <laughs> uh, but you've got yeah. that anxiety. And if that anxiety has been relieved, through sleep or through some other process that, you know, people are currently studying, um, then yeah, then you're like, you go and like, okay, I can handle it. Like I might, you know, I might have the stress of not having an extra bottle of water or whatever you were prepping and I'll be fine. Cause in reality you'll be fine. Right. Like that's, exactly. I think that's related to anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. It's, it's, I've definitely just lost that anxiety and uh, just feel good to go. You know, I can go buy a bottle of water. I can do, you know, do whatever I need out there, but I don't feel like I need to have this massive prep all done before I go. I'm, I'm just feeling good. That's, that's very good. And I know Patty's talked about um, like just being in stressful situations and handling them better. And then Alfred, you know, same thing. Alfred, I had a, a question for you. Uh, did you name your dog seven, hoping, hoping that it would wake up at seven instead of 530? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good, that, that's a good question. Well, well, seven was a, was, is, or was a rescue dog. And seven mm -hmm. came with that name and there was some, uh, uh, talk about that there was a, in in the previous owner there was a TV show where uh, 
one of the characters had named one of his children Seven, and that's how Seven got his name. But that's how. Maybe anyway. maybe he's just in the wrong time zone. <laughs> no, but he's he's a quite quite a character. And then one of my uh, um, colleagues or work collaborators who lives in London, his name is Seven. Mm. So we have Seven here. And Seven is with me 24-7. I mean, <laughs> Seven is my executive assistant and is just outside the door of the office here. So Seven is right there. And then Seven is in London. And we're always, you know, we say, wow. And so it seems as though there's, you know, there's some synchronicity involved there as well. <laughs> I was thinking of Seven. She's such a beautiful woman in England. Yeah, yeah, and and she's really um, uh, coming up now in, into a new uh, place in the in the um, in these times, and we we've started a new uh, program uh, that happens every Saturday. That's called Seven at Seven. <laughs> that is seven p.m. British Standard Time, which is 11 a.m. Pacific time and seven comes on and and we have quite an interesting show and uh, so we have seven at seven and boy it's in seventh heaven here I'm sorry I couldn't resist <laughs> <laughs> actually that's three sevens which would make you a lot of money in Vegas oh. there we go Jackpot. there we go by giving your pets some of your C60 Evo? Uh, you know, I, I think with, with I, I, I have, and Seven is, is uh, very, very elderly. He's, he doesn't have any teeth anymore. And, and he's, and he's uh, practically blind and he's deaf. And so I said, oh, um, and I think that the human concentration you know the what I uh, that that is the the C60 that I uh, have um, is uh, uh, a bit too much for him because I I I took and I really only I, I put in like a uh, 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 point point five milligrams into his food for a couple of days. And that accelerated him so much. I mean, it was like, he was like, just, you know, that I, uh, I wasn't an expert and it wasn't the pet, uh, the, the pet formula. Uh, so I just kind of said, wait, wait a minute. I, this is above my glass ceiling because Dealing with seven is such a an art, you know. You're dealing with a a half blind, half deaf, very elderly papillon here. That uh, uh, and I, all that I have is the human formula. I don't have the uh, the animal formula, so maybe I should get a cup a, a bottle of that. Formula is the olive oil for humans. I, I, I'm sorry. It, what we use for the dog formulation and the cat formulation is the olive oil. Oh, well then, well then, uh, do you, do you, I, I'm sorry? Give him a little bit every few days. If it was jet fuel three days in a row, that's yeah. too much. So maybe twice a week? Yeah. He starts hearing better and uh, see. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. He is so sensitive that it was like, and he went like, you know, and just took off. And I, I got a little bit scared, you know, I didn't know uh, what to do. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll just try, maybe start out with my uh, 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 0.25 milliliters. What do you think about that? Yeah, if and if that's hard to measure, you could just put, you know, 
five or 10 drops. Actually, we could look up the kind of how many drops in a milliliter, which is different based on the viscosity and surface tension, but like yeah. we could give you like a rough idea and you could start with five, I would say start with 10 drops, right? You could just use that out of your little, uh, out of a dosing cup or something and like drip it, drip out 10 drops. Yeah. See how yeah. that goes. Yeah, I, I've got here, I, I, I've got those Eye, eye droppers that, oh, yeah. that, that have the, uh, you know, it, it tells you how much graduation the, uh, on it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, but I'll, but, but I'll try it, but he's very sensitive to the, uh, to the uh, uh, thing and it might change his sleeping patterns for, you know, Oh, seven, you might yeah. sleep <laughs> until seven. It's like if it's seven drops that gets him to sleep until seven, then, <laughs> then it's, then it's perfect. The yeah. testimonials we get for pets are just, are just so yeah. phenomenal. And yeah. the thing that I love about pet testimonials, like people, and you know, even I'm a scientist and I didn't create this formula and I didn't like, send it out into the world to enhance people's lives. I just stumbled upon it. Really, somebody else stumbled upon it. And then now I'm trying to be a good steward of the product. Um, so even me in the early days, I'm like, I don't know if this is placebo effect or not placebo effect. And every story with pets is there's no placebo effect, right? Because the pet doesn't go, oh, I'm taking this sugar pill or this olive oil product. And, uh, and, and therefore I'm going to have more energy. Therefore my coat is going to be thicker and fuller and shinier. It's, you know, that's just what happens. And then we see, like, I've got testimonies of people who bought it originally for the pet, saw the dramatic improvements in their pet and, and then actually started taking the product themselves. My favorite pet testimonial is the guy that was taking it himself. And then he started getting the products for his dog. And he said, I have two dogs. One is six, very active. Then there's the old guy who's 12 and he just kind of sits around lethargic all day. Oh, yeah. So I put him on the C60 Evo for dogs. And all of a sudden he's not only chasing the six year old, but he's humping again. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't fake that. That was a pretty good one. Um, but uh, so it is the olive oil. We go for the strongest formula, the highest concentration. And then we put a natural bacon essence in for the dogs so that they ask for it. And then we put a salmon essence in for the cats so that they beg for it. Of course, cats run the house. They don't have to beg. They <laughs> go. It's time. Feed me and put that special liquid gold in there. Um, so, you know, we're getting great, great results from heat people and from pets. And now from a guy that flies through the air with the greatest of ease. I am curious, Tom, do you jump out of airplanes sometimes or is it always running down a hillside and letting loose? Uh, no, you know, I, I have never uh, gone skydiving. My, uh, my love is the flight through the air as opposed to the drop. Um, no, I've never even done it. A lot of the guys that I work with have. Yeah, that's very counterintuitive. Kind of yeah, yeah. I, I just love to fly. That's cool. I used to dream I could fly as a kid, but I, I haven't uh, lifted off. So you are a teacher and you constantly take people that have never flown before. I mean, right. that's gotta be, uh, it almost seems like you should give them a scoop an hour before. <laughs> you know, this is for your anxiety. <laughs> Right. We uh, we offer this, and for five dollars more, here's a spoonful. <laughs> You'll like yeah. it better. Um, so I'm just curious of the percentage of people you take out, which has got to be a number of them in all the time you've been doing it. What percentage of them are super scared, and like, do they grip onto you, or what is it? Are you always like in tandem with them in your training? Um. Well, you know, we uh, we meet the majority of our clients, you know, um, an hour, 45 minutes before we fly and just, you know, meet down in the parking lot, they fill out the paperwork and then we go. Um, but by the time we fly, you know, they have got a real good rundown on what's going to happen, how it's going to work. Um, you know, I ask them, you know, do they have any questions that need to be answered? You know, it's all based on 
um, you know, very much like skiing and snowboarding, which I teach as well. You know, it's all based on just little steps. You know, if you can do a couple of little things and remember to do them in a row, then, then we can go fly. With the paragliding, the only real help or participation that I need from uh, my customers is in the takeoff. They really don't need to have any special skill or understanding for the landing. We have airbags underneath our harnesses. So we just, you know, fly in and land right on the airbags. So they don't even have to try and coordinate any footwork or anything. Oh. Um, yeah, it's, it's super simple uh, in that respect. And the flying part too, you know, I'm doing it all up there. Um, the only time I really need their help is on the launch. And we just need to coordinate together running down the hill and off into the air. And uh, when we've got a little bit of wind, it's, it's not too difficult to get people to participate, even if they're, you know, frozen in fear, um, which happens from time to time. Um, but, you know, we, we can typically see the signs be, of that, you know, before it actually becomes a reality, you know, and, and we talk them through it. You know, explain that, you know, running hard, trying to stay on the ground is going to actually work way better than trying to fly off into the air. You know, the, the more you try to stay on the ground, the better our launch is going to be. So, uh, well, the hardest thing I is, just to, you know, convince them to run hard. The hardest so thing is climbing up the hill. I was always wondering, is there a back road that you guys go to and you get out with your gear and then you fly and then, Somebody picks you up and drives you back up, but no, you you guys actually all hike up the hill. Uh, yeah, in in Golden, where I do most of my work, you know, right uh, where the M is on the hill for the school of mine. Um, that's where I'm doing tandems out of, and uh, we do we can drive up. You know, the hill I think is 1,200 vertical feet from our landing area. And we can drive up about 900 of those feet. Mm. And then, you know, there's a parking area, and we just have to hike the last 300 feet. Oh, that's easier than... It's, which really isn't that bad. You know, a 300-foot hike doesn't sound bad at all. But the problem is, when the original path was made, um, you know, it was a bunch of very uh, zealous uh, paraglider pilots and hang glider pilots, and... They didn't create switchbacks. They just went straight up the hill. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we have a uh, pathway, a, a hiking trail that just goes straight up the hill, and we carry our 65-pound pack on. Wow. And, Aren't you yeah, glad? In that 90-degree heat, you know, it's, it's hot. Yeah. And, and that's actually specifically what we look for in paragliding, is uh, hills that are facing right into the sun. It's that heating up of the hill that allows the thermals to go rolling up the hill for us to paralyze them. So, so you know, we're, we're always looking for hills that are right in the sun, and, and that's what we're hiking up. Wow. Blazing hot hill in the daytime sun. <laughs> so, okay. so Your other teachers are noticing, what's Thomas doing? Why is it so easy for him lately? So you, you teach skiing. Well, there, everyone else is much younger than I am. I, I'm, I've got about 20 to 30 years on everybody else. So. Are you in your 40s? I'm 53, actually. Oh. Wow. Wow. Good on you. This is <laughs> forever. Yeah. Most people don't, don't expect me to say 53. No, I, was, I thought you were in your 40s. So, so I wanted to ask, so you teach skiing and snowboarding also. I've got one kind of interesting testimonial about skiing. Uh, it's actually a, a heart surgeon. He goes skiing and, and for lay people, probably not for you, Thomas, but for lay people, you go skiing and after the first day you're wrecked because nobody, no normal human who doesn't live near a ski slope is able to sit in a, like a pseudo seated position for the entire day, right? And so you're just wrecked. Uh, the story he told was he was a, he finished the first day of skiing and his wife was giving him a hard time the next morning when they woke up saying, oh, you're probably wrecked. You're probably not gonna go skiing today. And he was like, you know what? I actually feel fine. 
right? And so um, it'll be interesting. Obviously, you haven't had the product through um, through snow season, but it'll be interesting to see if you notice those kinds of things. And and it, and um, yeah, if if there there might even be some opportunity for us to get you some product that uh, that you could try with some customers and see if it makes a difference for them. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be great. I'd love to do that. Um, yeah, and and I haven't had it during a ski season yet, but uh, yeah, I really look forward to. It. I can I can definitely see where it's going to work a little bit. Um, you know, it's just the my experience in paragliding has, has been amazing. You know, and those hikes up the hill, and uh, you know the fact that in working, you know, I had my pedicab job, I'm now going in about seven nights a week because we haven't had any rainy days. I, I figure I'll take days off when I need to, when I get rained out or whatever, but it's not raining. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And I'm, I'm just working, you know, I've worked the first 12 days of the month. I took one day off. I've been working ever since. Um, you know, I'm not needing days off and I'm not feeling like I need to uh, do a heavy prep before I go in. I'm just, just rolling right through everything. So, I imagine skiing will be the same way. I'm really excited for that. It's like having a little secret in, in a bottle in your pocket. It's kind of a yeah. nice, <laughs> nice advantage to have something that actually works at times like this. So I just want to talk about in general, I know that the four of us, no matter what our lives are about, we are all living through this pandemic. We are all being tested to the max with our endurance and patience and, um, Wherever we go, like today, I went to the grocery store and I leaned in to order something from the deli and the guy goes, pull the mask up over your nose. And he stepped back five feet. Of course, my brain, I had to discipline and not start calling him names in my head, mask Nazi. Um, but I, you know, I, I just pulled it up over my nose and, and you know, it, it, we have to really behave because there's people that are still super scared of something that may or may not be um, anywhere near as dangerous as we're being led to believe. So I think at a time like this, sleeping better is incredibly important. And when this began, when we were being told, um, when the President of the United States said, the storm is upon us, and somebody said, what is that storm, sir? And he said, you'll see. So here we are now in the you'll see time zone of watching history really change. And I know that in the beginning, when he was honest enough to say, this, this uh, pandemic is not about a virus, it's about human trafficking. This takes a lot of people over the top when it comes to um, our thinking and our strength and endurance in our heart because there's nothing worse than grown-ups doing bad things to children, in my opinion. And I remember in the beginning of this, I watched unbelievable videos when we were all locked in our homes. I just watched them all day long to see who's telling the truth, who's got the evidence, who's got the documentation, because that's what I want to listen to. I know history is changing. We've been waiting for this since 2012. It was predicted in 2012, but we're kind of like snails going up a hill. It's taken till 2020 for the huge shift to be taking place. But those of us, luckily that have balanced thinking, are gonna do a whole lot better than those that are freaking out or yelling at people without a mask or yelling at people with a mask. It's like, we just gotta be nice because everybody's, not me, but most people are pretty scared for their future. And you know, if we who feel good, we who have energy, we who are healing, can kind of be more generous and help people out that are losing it, which is on every street corner. And also to kind of help raise the vibration. We're gonna, that's, that's what we can do with this wonderful gift of ESS 60. You know, for me, I, uh, I was never intellectual, I was never into politics, but now I can keep up with the best of them. I don't know if it's just the ESS 60 or if it's just that all of a sudden I'm not doing life. I'm not spending, I'm not shopping, I'm not wasting time. I'm unfortunately not going to the crop circles, but what I am doing is growing my brain 
growing my consciousness by choice and saying, I remember when they said, those who know don't sleep. And that was about the trafficking. And it was really true. I didn't sleep for a long time, but now all of a sudden in the last two months, I'm sleeping like a baby. I cannot believe it's like I forgot what it was like to sleep deep. And when I get up at five or six, it's like, oh my God, look at that beautiful sunrise. Uh, rather than at three going, oh God, again, so I get out. You know, I'm sleeping through the night. It's so awesome. And it's been a couple months of that. So at a time like this, when those who know don't sleep, I friggin' know. I know what's going on because I'm locked into the history of what's happening now. And I'm also doing things that I really encourage the world to get on, which is read the executive orders. Don't guess that he's a schmuck. Read the executive orders of what this president is pulling off and you will start having more relief. He's doing so much stuff that nobody's giving him credit for and that's okay. I'm not pumping the trumping. I'm just saying I'm doing the research. As a documentarian, I wanna know what's real. So when you look at this list of executive orders and realize here's a guy helping America to really move forward with a Congress and a Senate that hate him. And they're saying no, 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 no to everything. So we think nothing's happening. Well, guess what? Stuff is happening by the dozens. So those who do sleep, those who don't sleep, doesn't matter, but you gotta start doing the research if you wanna be comfortable to get through this time on earth, whatever this pandemic is about. Um, and also to have faith that we're gonna make it in a beautiful way on the other side, and that's where I'm at. I think it's why I'm sleeping better because I'm doing the research and I see our world getting better. And even though we think we're locked up, and even though we have to wear these stupid fabric muzzles and put it over our nose if there's a masked Nazi at a restaurant or following me around the hardware store, and I'm sorry if I say it in a derogatory way, but you know, I feel like I'm doing the muzzle you know, it's a stupid little dance. I'm not going to get sick. I'm arrogant. I'm on the ESS 60. But I still also think that it's over. That huge, massive threat is over. And there's going to be cases, and it's a terrible thing when people pass. But when you've got a year when everybody passed of COVID-19, but nobody had a stroke or a heart attack, nobody got hit by a train or died on a motorcycle, when they were brought in, that doctor knew that the hospital would be paid, would be paid uh, $11,000 if they wrote COVID instead of killed on a motorcycle, 39,000 if they put them on a ventilator and then killed them. So there's too many real doctors that have explained what we're in, you know, to, for us to even question what's going on anymore. But how do we do it sanely and lovingly? I love C60 Evo, it's keeping me nice, even though every now and then I go, yeah, 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 yeah. I can still pull off an authentic smile and feel happy in the world. I love my life, I love my home. And after five months of being locked up, kind of, I think the four of us are relatively happy. Who's happy? Raise your hand. <laughs> right? Now, I don't know how many audiences can say that, but I'm really proud of the four of us. And what do we have in common? <laughs> we all take the magic remedy. They called it a miracle molecule for a long time. They gave it the Nobel Prize in Science in the 90s. And uh, Chris and Rob, with the suggestion of their high school or college teacher, invented the reactor machine to burn this stuff. You can't make it. It doesn't just show up. You know, there used to be rumors that the dinosaurs were licking it at the base of volcanoes and then they discovered, I'm sorry, is that true? <laughs> I don't know, that it came from a red star. Is that true? I don't know. But what I know is I work with the guys that have a lab that makes really clean C60 and they've got all these massive machines that take it from C60, carbon 60 to ESS 60, which is the cleanest carbon 60 molecule that your body can take. I love it. I'm grateful. And I'm grateful for Thomas, who just, I can't believe it's only been two months. You've probably done six testimonials. 
But today, even when I wrote you and invited you, you sent me a testimonial that I should probably print. You're good. You're good for the business. Yeah. You're also somebody who's out there really exercising. And uh, I'm impressed thinking of you climbing up that hill in Golden. My grandfather went to the school at the turn of the century. He was at the School of Mines with the big M on the hill. So I kind of came out here, you know, like family history, but I came to Boulder where uh, Chief Niwat put a curse on Boulder. If you live here longer than six years, you will never leave. Oh God, both my daughters married locals. I mean, it's true. We're just like, we don't leave. Um, but that's my story. I'm just grateful and I'm grateful for all of you, Alfred. Anytime I bring you a show, you usually say yes. And you've got an audience around the world. Um, when we do shows with you, our sales are so many different countries. So thank you for being at it for decades, staying loyal to the work you do. But if you're pushing 80, you are an inspiration to all of us, really. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. You know, and, and while you were talking about the coronavirus and masking and not masking, uh, what occurred to me, going back to the science, which Chris has taught us so well, and that is that ESS 60 is 172 more times more powerful an antioxidant than vitamin C. And that is the sort of protection that our systems need precisely at these times. Yep. So that uh, uh, we are also, from that point of view, from a prophylactic point of view, uh, uh, you know, that's the best mask that we have. You know, just to bring it to that point, I mean, we have our mask, it's called ESS-60. I do feel safer taking it. Yeah. And, 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 and the product C60 Evo actually does support your immune system in, in five ways, right? So you mentioned the antioxidant capability, 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. You have to be very careful with the FDA and talking about inflammation. So what we can say, and you can read between the lines if you choose to, is that it fits perfectly well in an anti-inflammatory diet, uh, like the Mediterranean diet, which is associated with reductions in uh, stroke, a population that has reduced heart attacks, uh, and a population that actually lives longer. It's also a known antibacterial, known antiviral. And then we've been talking about sleep and we do know that sleep is good for your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. So it is something that, that can support you. And, and I did read an article about one of the things that happens to people who have COVID uh, is that they experience a cytokine storm. This is where your body's actually, your immune system is actually overly charged. And when that happens, it's creating a lot of free radicals, a lot of oxygen oxidation species. And again, something that com combats oxidation species, uh, vitamin C and antioxidant. And then again, our product is 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. So, you know, we can't say A plus B equals C, uh, but we can say things make sense. Very good. Right, right. Well, you know, I, I, I'm just uh, looking here and and uh, I get 55.5. We've been at this for 55 minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, do you feel that we've shared with the audience enough? Or? Well, I think Patty needs to share, like, you know, she always gives a nice outline of the website and how to navigate it and, and how to save money. I'll do that. But I first wanted to share one thing that blew my mind yesterday. I was gone for four hours, and when I left in the morning, I had one of those damn smoke alarms going, meep, meep. Oh, yeah. And I was hoping it would just blow itself out and before I got back. So I got back at the end of the day, and I was dreading grabbing the ladder, climbing up three flights of stairs, carrying a six-foot ah. ladder, dreading it. And Chris knows my house now. He was here. It's, so, it's, 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 she should dread that. <laughs> I can confirm. 
So I hauled in all my stuff. I, I have to go up 49 steps, take my shoes off, 17 more to get into the house. I live on a cliff. And the bedrooms are another 15 stairs up each way. So um, this was up on the top floor. Yeet, yeet. I went downstairs after I unloaded the first load of stuff, that everything that I brought in. But then I had to go down to the bottom again and get the ladder and haul it up three flights of stairs. I don't know what happened, but all that dread was in my head because next thing I knew, I put the ladder under my arm and I was on it, fixed the thing. And I was like, that was so easy. I mean, I flew up the stairs, three flights, carrying a six foot ladder. And um, I'm bragging because I am older and I didn't expect it to be that easy, but I was cracking up on the ladder, you know, but then it's like, okay, stop laughing because you'll fall off and like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I will say that uh, I'm, I'm impressing myself with what I'm pulling off. And I can tell Thomas has one more thought, but I'm quickly just gonna say c60evo.com. Um, the way to save money, is you get 20% off if you sign up for a monthly subscription. And if you don't love it, you can cancel by email, but you probably won't. Uh, so save 20% if you have a couple friends or a friend, or you got a big habit, you're gonna be moving around a lot. You can grab a dozen bottles, get 25% off. But whatever you buy, when you're checking out, use Alfred's code, which is A-L-W, his initials, S-P-E-C, and you'll get an additional 5% off, and then he gets a donation commission from the company. So this supports News uh, Evolution and Alfred's channels, uh, and he works hard, which he's been doing for decades. So um, whatever you get, you can just get a bottle and try it, but if you wanna save money, sign up for a subscription and save money. So um, I do wanna go around once more if anybody has anything they wanna add, because I think Thomas does, and I also want to say, I don't know if anybody's noticing my skin, but you're going to notice it get better and better. And I can't believe the difference in my face. And I've been working on it, but we are coming up with some facial products, a facial product that is um, changing the way I look. And uh, I've got five friends on it also. And we're going to be bringing it to, to market in the next few months. But we're not stopping here. This stuff is good. This miracle molecule is making the four of us smile, and I know it's going to work on a lot more people. Thomas, give us your uh, your final glowing comment. <laughs> okay, well, <clears throat> there's actually two things I wanted to say, and, and then a third, when you're talking about your skin, I can totally see a difference in my own skin just in the last few months. Um, but uh, with your story about the ladder, um, I totally just related to that because it was one of the first things I noticed when I first started taking the C60 was that I felt like my lag time had been removed from thinking about doing something to actually doing it, you know, yeah. where I might have used to, you know, sit around and debate, well, do I just feel like doing that? I just find myself just getting up and going and do it. So, so I thought that was really cool. And that relates to what you just said. And, um, and then the other thing that, you know, I had uh, written down is probably the most major noticeable thing that I've gotten from the C60, I, we hadn't even talked about yet, was my eyesight. I already had great eyesight um, during the, uh, the whole COVID experience. <laughs> Our, uh, my driver's license ran out and I needed to get a new one and on the, uh, the new online way you do it. Um, I found that they were requiring me to get a vision test, which I hadn't had in 20 years. And I went to the ophthalmologist and um, had a vision test, and she was impressed as could be with my eyes. Uh, this was a day or two before I got my first Circle C60. And uh, she was very impressed with my eyes. She said my uh, optic nerves were the best she'd ever seen in someone my age. And uh, they were basically perfect, but I didn't see well, she knew this before even checking out my eyes just from the photograph she did of the inside. Uh, she said that I didn't see well things real close, real close up. And I was like, wow, you got me dead on. That is true. I knew my, my eyes were perfect before I came in. I felt like I was wasting money by coming here. But you're absolutely right. Up close, 
Uh, I could use reading glasses. He told me what prescription. If I wanted to get reading glasses, it'd be 125. <clears throat> and I actually told her about the C60 before having even tried it. I, was, I knew people were having better vision from it. I was like, yeah, there is something out there. So um, anyway, uh, after only two weeks of using it, I started, you know, realizing that I'm just holding the phone, you know, a foot and a half from my face and reading text. Whereas I used to have to hold it, you know, as far as I could away from my eyes. And and that just blew me away. That was, you know, a night and day difference within a very short amount of time. And there was just no denying what it was from. So I, I thought that was really, really amazing. And all those things really, you know, the, uh, removing the lag time, you know, I'm just more efficient, and seeing better and, couldn't be happier with that, with everything I'm experiencing here. That's awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Chris, thank you for being amazing. Alfred, thank you for inviting us on your show every month and being someone that is well worth sponsoring by C60 Evo. You've been wonderfully loyal, but to realize again, I'm gonna say it for the fourth time, I thought you were like 74. And if you're pushing 80, uh, I think you're an inspiration. Yeah. Thank you. And you know, we're, we're, we're very grateful. It is true that c60evo.com, ESS60, is a sponsor of ExoPolitics TV. So uh, please uh, use the special code, um, ALWSPEC, you'll get uh, a discount and uh, uh, a certain percentage of your uh, purchase will help bring very special programs to you that aren't seen elsewhere. All righty. Well, thank you, everyone. And um, definitely. If you can afford $77 or uh, with a discount, it might even be a little less, but it's definitely worth trying it to see if it can change your life. If you can clear that counter of all those other products, because you're not going to need them anymore, uh, I think you'll find that the investment is a small price for the benefits that you can achieve. B60Evo.com. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Thank Bye. You. Thank you, Patty.